on this edition of Train Masters TV. Take a journey to coal country and get inspired. It's been an absolute joy to come down here and work. I have accomplished more in the last two years on this layout than I did in at least the previous 10. Get lost in the details. What I end up doing is adding layers at a time, little detail things that perhaps never get noticed. There's always something happening. I don't see this ever being finished. One man's infatuation with power. Challengers, uh, big boys, 412Ts, the 800s, all the big engines. I just fell in love. Just did it for me, and it's been Union Pacific ever since. Getting the most out of O-Scale. I really wanted to have a long main line, and I wanted to have a lot of distance between towns. So that meant uh, at least twice around, and I wonder if there's a way I can squeeze in three. So that's what I did. What does it take to build a masterpiece? If you're doing a building like we've done on the Sundance, it's got 200 individual boards on a building and you're weathering every one of them. That takes a fair amount of patience. A school where students can learn to be better modelers. Being a student club, we get in people who know nothing about trains. And so we start with very unskilled people in a lot of cases and we bring them up to speed really quickly. An Appalachian Railroad that was built to be enjoyed. I've got some guys that have been operating with me for 30, 35 years. Model railroading is fun by yourself, but if you can get a bunch of guys with like interests, it's a blast. Meeting expectations on the Delaware and Hudson in New York State. Everybody that comes to see a DNH layout expects to see a couple of things two PAs and two Baldwins. Childhood memories down by the tracks. The train came at least once a day and we uh, were typically down by the tracks to watch it come in. It was a great playground. Realistic operations with a real world railroad planner. I'm a numbers guy, I mean, I'm an engineer, so I like the idea of having a program that can generate the work orders for my layout. Loading coal on the Virginia Southwestern Railroad. I look in books and magazines and pictures that I have of loaders, and I may combine two or three features. I may use a load chute from one operation, but yet use a truck dump that I saw somewhere else that just looked neat. The legendary Aberfoyle Junction Railway. This is one of the best uh, model railways in North America. We may not be the biggest, but as far as fit and finish and the attention to detail, that's second to none. 